Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash Clans video. Today we're over in the Eric vs. Carbonfin War, where I'm going to be looking at the defenses on this particular base right here, number 2. So let's go through the war events and look for the first attack. So, this base was one that I built on stream about two weeks ago. It's right here. So it survived five defenses in this war. Really crazy stuff. That is definitely not normal in a top town hall competition. Especially when you're getting hit by people like Eric, like uh, Nick here. Who has experience in ESL play and stuff like that. So what he's done... So what he's done here is made a funnel at 9 o'clock and with the king at 11 o'clock. And now he's going to wall break into the infernal compartment and the queen's going to follow right inside. So his plan here is to queen walk inside the base and have hog riders take out the rest of the base after the queen's done with her job. The CC for this base is Hound Witch Archers. And it looks like it's done a really good job of stopping the queen in her tracks. With these two expos on her and the scatter shot and the queen, she had to use her ability early. And now with the pups, it looks like she's not going to make it. So pretty clear that that's going to be a defense, so let's skip forward and look at the final numbers on this attack. So it looks like it's going to be a one star in round, oh, a two star in round 60% because of the level 20 royal champion taking out the town hall. So I'm not sure exactly what the plan was here because it was pretty obvious that with the expo and the CC out here that the Queen couldn't survive that. So let's see what they did to adjust and how it also failed. And look, attack number three of the entire war is the second attack on this base. So it looks like they have gone with the P.E.K.K.A. Smash with the Quake and Jump Spell. Since this is a spam attack, let's just 2x through it and just take a note of different things that go wrong with it. So the quake was misplaced, but that was fine. Only the queen was the important built was the important troop that left. But it looks like everything in the middle just collapsed. I'm not exactly sure why, <laughs> but it worked. Okay. Maybe the healers also left. But we also had some black mines in that area as well. So let's look at the third attack. Right here from MP. This guy was in Atlanta with us. So let's see what he did to try and take this base down. King and Baby Dragon sending the funnel, along with a couple of loons. Okay, so now MP is going to have a wall wrecker going into this inferno compartment, and probably going to end up with the same fate as Nick's queen. So even with a couple of, oh, well that's an interesting CC. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was his intention. At least it wouldn't, at least it shouldn't have been to have two dragons in a wall wrecker CC because he really, really needed tanking in this attack. So if he, so he had 45 troop space, so he definitely should have brought three ice golems in his offensive CC. 
but I don't think it would have mattered at all because the queen suffers the same fate. Queen, scattershot, and two expos on her. Way too much for her to deal with. And just sends into miners to die, and that is it. Ends in like a 54% one star. So, let's look at the next tech. Right here from Comfort v -Dub. So he's going to try the same thing. So let's 2x through it. First, dropping the queen down instead of the funnel troops. And now he's wall recurring into a slightly different area, but the Tesla sends the queen elsewhere. That's part of the point of having Teslas and other buildings on the outside, because it might draw away troops, or the queen in this case, which completely changes the attack. He was smart here bringing the ice golem in the CC for the 7 second freeze, but not quite enough. And with miners set from the town hall position, he's probably going to get the 2 star, but not much more after that. So let's check out the final attack. It was, very close. it was a very close attack. So let's check it out. Gizmo against Cuddy here, using my base from the stream about two weeks ago. So Queen Charge Miners. This, is ended, this one ended in a 95% two star. So let's see what he could have done instead, or if he did everything he could to get this 3 star. So Walworker and Queen in from 8 o'clock. It looks pretty good so far. 3 Ice Golems of course, very good idea. Tanks for the Queen, tanks for the... and it freezes the Hound, freezes the Expo. Very very good. It's a very good offensive CC if you're doing a queen charge. Three ice golems. So now he's dealt with the hound, dealt with the queen. Two expos are on him, but it looks like he's going to get them down. Enemy king gets on him, and the healers are not in the rage spell. But I don't think the queen would have survived anyway. I don't think so. So I guess it, the whether this attack could have worked depends on whether the queen could have survived if the healers were placed on the queen correctly, or if the rage was placed correctly. So I'm not sure about that. Maybe it was, I'm not sure. So then we have the miners coming in from 11 o'clock, going straight to the town hall and then ending on this two inferno tower layout so if you were to take this base I think instead of this air skelly in the back here you would replace that air skelly with ground skellies move it about a tile out and have the air skellies where the ground skellies were so I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So it looks like this attack just fizzles out a little bit. It might end up in a time fail. Yep, looks like a time fail. Warden's very powerful at level 50. So time fail, 95%. Basically what he could have done is maybe brought a sixth healer maybe that would have been the difference but it was very very close so let's look at the base and edit it a little bit to defend this attack a little bit more and then we'll end the video guys so now I'm back with the base here we're going to switch up the skeleton trap here move it up a little bit and make it a ground skelly trap Move this one back and make it an air skelly trap. So the point of this here is the ground skelly trap should trigger as soon as miners hit the inferno tower or the air sweeper and not before. So they shouldn't trigger when miners are on the scatter shot here. 
Next, let's change this, change these uh, seeking air mines. Actually, I think I'll leave this one. But I'll move this one here and this one there. So that should protect against uh, that should protect against healers. So I think that's it. I think that's all the changes that I wanted to make to the space. And if you want the base, it's right here. And share its link. Okay, that link is in the description below. I hope you enjoy. I hope you learned something. I've been Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.